everybody welcome to my channel today I am going to be doing five cake box hacks I absolutely love having these on hand I usually get these when these are on discount or on on some type of sell and so I always have tons of these but I don't always just want to make a cake so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what you can do with these instead of just using cake doing some awesome cake mix hacks so I hope you guys like it let's get started making this absolutely delicious apple cobbler. This dessert only calls for four ingredients. The very first one we're going to be using is some butter. I'm just going to go ahead and melt that. All right, now I have my melted butter. I'm just going to go ahead and put that to the side. I'm going to bring in my 9 by 13 baking dish. And I don't know if I said this, but I, <laughs> you need two sticks of butter melted. And we're going to put that on top in just a minute. Okay, so I have my 9 by 13 pan, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a light spray. And we're going to go ahead and toss these in here. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and spread that out so all the apples are nice and even on the bottom. Apple is my favorite type of cobbler, so that's why I'm doing apple. This would work really well with some blueberry, some rhubarb, some strawberry, some cherry, all that stuff would be super, super delicious. But I'm just going to do some apples. And we're actually going to amp up the apple in just a minute. Then we have some caramel bits that we're going to add just half of the bag. So I'm going to sprinkle just half of this. Ah! we go try to even that out okay and then I have yellow cake mix and I'm just going to spread this over all the top of our caramels that we have Okay, and now we're just going to take our butter, and we're just going to spread that evenly on top. There we go. We're going to bake this at 350 for about 40 minutes. guys here is the final product it is looking absolutely delicious I went ahead and paired mine with some ice cream you guys this is simply divine first we're gonna go ahead and add in this cake mix next I'm gonna go ahead and add in a half a cup of vegetable oil a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I went ahead and added in two eggs. And now I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stir. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in a whole cup of chocolate chips. I just use semi sweet and give this a good stir. I'm going to spray my pan real quick and then I'm just going to go ahead and add this to the bottom of this pan. Okay, 
I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. take my boxed cake mix and put it at the very bottom. I'm going to be using a yellow cake mix for this recipe. Next I need one egg. I'm also going to need two thirds cup of peanut butter. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up until it's nice and crumbly. Okay, now that our mixture is nice and crumbly, I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna bring over a nine by 13 dish and I have already sprayed this. So I'm just gonna place that right there. We're gonna take our mixture and we're just gonna put this at the very bottom. Okay. Make this nice and even, and I'm just going to press it all the way down. I'm just gonna be making a nice little crust here. Now in our same dish, I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse this dish. And I'm going to add in our cream cheese. I need about eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my cream cheese at the very bottom of my bowl. Okay, I'm also going to add in another third a cup of peanut butter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and give this mixture in another mix. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some sugar. I have a third a cup of sugar that I'm gonna add in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a third a cup of milk and give this another stir. Okay, so here's what our mixture is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right on top of our cake mix. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a whole cup of chocolate chips right on top of this. Or more, <laughs> it just kinda depends how much you want. I have like a mixture of like mini chocolate chips and big chocolate chips. I'm just gonna use the rest of this container and call it good. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and bake this in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes.
Up next is this cake mix pumpkin bars. So we're going to need some powdered sugar, a can of pumpkin puree. We're gonna need some cream cheese, a little bit of butter, and then I needed spice like a spice cake, but I could not find anything. I couldn't find the regular ones. I couldn't find like Pillsbury. I couldn't find like more expensive one. I could not find an off brand of anything. So this one was the closest. And then I'm just gonna add some cinnamon to it to give it a little bit of that spice flavor. Um, so definitely wanna use the spice cake if you guys can find it. I don't know what the deal is, but I could not find any. These are the ingredients that we're going to need to make this amazing pumpkin bar. We're going to start off by putting our cake mix at the very bottom of our bowl. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some cinnamon to my cake mix. And then we're going to put in some pumpkin puree. Okay, and then I'm going to give this a good stir. If I can, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to get a wooden spoon. All right, this is looking really, really nice now. I am going to go ahead and just put this and transfer it to my 9x13 pan. I'm going to go ahead and spray my 9x13 pan. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and transfer this. This is a little bit thick. So just so you guys know when you're baking this, it is going to be a little bit on the thick side. Okay, and then I'm just going to make sure this is nice and even. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna be making the frosting now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cream cheese. I'm also going to go ahead and add in two tablespoons of butter. Okay, both of these are already softened. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a whirl. I'm going to go ahead and put in half a teaspoon of vanilla. I am not going to measure because I just don't want to. <laughs> Okay, give this a stir. I have two cups of powdered sugar. I'm just gonna add in a little bit at a time. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape the bowl and get all of that sugar mixed in. And this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put this on top of our pumpkin bars. All right, here is our pumpkin bars. They have been cooling for a couple hours. I'm just going to go ahead and take our frosting and put them right on top. Spread this bad boy out. This looks amazing. Nothing better than pumpkin and a cream cheese frosting. good. I'm going to take a bite. This is heavenly. You guys, heavenly. Up next is this delicious looking cinnamon roll cake. You guys, you are going to fall in love with this cake. It is so good. Okay, here's some of the ingredients we're going to be making for today's cinnamon roll poke cake. Um, so I'm going to be using this box cake. Um, I'm just going to use and make the cake exactly how it says on the back of the box. So it actually says we're going to need some water, some vegetable oil, and some egg whites. So that's what I have here. And then we're going to be making a filling and then also um, some icing. You guys can definitely just do like the, the um, tubbed um, like Pillsbury or whatever you want to do 
for the frosting or you guys can make it homemade like what I'm going to show you to do. So either way, I think it's going to both be delicious. So I'm going to start off by using our cake mix. I'm going to go ahead and put that at the very bottom of my bowl. I need four egg whites. I need one and a fourth cup of water and then also a half a cup of oil. And I'm just going to mix this and then pour it into my 9 by 13 pan. I'm going to lightly spray my 9 by 13 pan. And then we're just going to go ahead and put our cake in here. Spread it out evenly, just like you would normal cake. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake this at 350 for about 35 minutes. Now we're going to be making the filling while our cake is cooling. So I'm going to go ahead and add in half a cup of uh, brown sugar, tablespoon of cinnamon, and then we have some sweetened condensed milk. That is as thick as molasses, it seems like. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in five tablespoons of butter. Also going to add in two and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. This is like the clear vanilla. There's that. And then I'm going to toss this in the microwave for about a minute until this is nice and melted through with our butter and everything is just really warm. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and poke holes through all of this, and I don't really have a better way of doing it <laughs> except this way. I just take a wooden spoon and use their handle. Works the same. Okay, I'm just going to poke holes throughout the whole cake. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then I put this in the microwave for about two, actually two minutes. I don't know, maybe it's my microwave doesn't heat things up really high. But I'm just going to kind of whisk it together. Because some of that cinnamon is just not doing what I want it to do. So, just going to whisk this together and you guys... This literally smells like CeCe's Pizzas and cinnamon rolls. Like, exactly. I don't know what it is. Maybe this is how they make their cinnamon rolls, like their glaze. I don't know. But it's very fascinating to me. Okay, so that looks like a super yummy and creamy glaze that we're going to be putting all over our um, cake. Okay, so I'm just going to take our glaze and pour it right on top. Death by cinnamon roll. That's what this should be called. Oh my word. This looks amazing. Okay, and then I'm just going to... Make sure all of those holes are filled because I don't want like just juice and sauce out on the sides there. I want to make sure all those holes are filled. Okay. Most of it is looking good. Put some over here. Okay. Let 
Okay, I'm just gonna let this set for just a little bit and then we're gonna get started on our frosting. Okay, in our mixing bowl, we're going to go ahead and add in one block of cream cheese. We're gonna add in one stick of butter or a half a cup of butter. Here's our cream cheese. There's our butter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this until it's nice and creamy. Okay, I went ahead and whipped that together. So now that is nice and fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of um, ha half and half. I'd say that's about good. I'm also gonna add in about two teaspoons of vanilla or until I say it's good enough. That looks good. And then I have two and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'm just gonna pour in half at a time. And then I will mix this together and then add in the other half. So let me go mix this real quick. Okay, look at this, you guys. It's looking super, super delicious. Nice and creamy, a really great texture here. Just exactly what we're wanting. So now I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna bring over our absolutely divine cake. You guys see this? How absolutely beautiful she looks. Okay, and I'm just going to top her with some frosting. And guess what? We're going to enjoy a beautiful, beautiful cake. Or if you like me, you're going to share it with some of your friends. Because there is no way I'm going to eat this. Or even just me and my family is going to eat this. Because I have a feeling that this is going to be very rich. So I'm only going to need a super small piece. But this is even so good for it being fall time, you guys. There we go. Just spread it out all over. It made a lot of frosting, so I'm not even sure that we need all that frosting. To be honest with you, that's a lot of frosting. I have a feeling my husband's going to be like, it's too much frosting. All right, there we go. There we go. Look how delicious this looks. All right, I'm going to let this set for maybe about 20 minutes, and then I will take a bite and see how good it is. Okay, now it's time for us to take a look at this cake and see <laughs> how absolutely delicious it looks. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Absolutely superb. Okay, bud, what was your favorite cake that I made? Mm. Or favorite dessert that I made? I would have to say this. And what's that? Um. This? Is it the cinnamon roll cake? Yeah, it's the cinnamon roll cake. It's, it's really It's better good. than the pumpkin one? Mm-hmm. Better than the brownies? Yes. Better than... What else have I made? Um, the oh, chocolate chip thing. The chocolate chip peanut butter thing? Yes. Better than that? Yes. And what was the very first? Oh, better than the cobbler. You didn't taste the cobbler, did you? No. Mommy tasted the cobbler. That was really good. Well, I bet that's But that different. one's your favorite. Okay. Okay, Addie Girl is going to taste the cinnamon roll cake. And that's the last one that I made. Okay, now how is that one? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Now, which one is the like your favorite one that I made? Have this to mineral one. That's that one? That good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, pretty good. First, mommy. Okay, and then got a little man down here. He wants to try. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, wait, come back. Come back. Come tell everybody what you think. Is that yummy? Look right here. Mm -hmm. Is it yummy? Is that your favorite? Mm-hmm. Yum. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of these cake mix hacks. I absolutely loved doing this video and my stomach absolutely enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this content and make sure you hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.